Hey guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. I'm Primetime Phil, and today we're going to discuss defensive linemen for the Dallas Cowboys. In previous years, Dallas has always carried 10 defensive linemen on the roster, and I don't think this year is any exceptions. With two good rookies coming in to replace a veteran like Tyrone Crawford that's retiring, I think this year you finally have a core group of guys instead of relying on one or two guys to get you a high number of sacks. Speaking of that guy, that guy for us tends to be Demarcus Lawrence, the leader of this defense. The guy has tried to push through injuries for the past couple of years after being paid that big contract. I don't think he wanted to let Cowboy fans down. The only problem is, is that even with that, he hasn't lived up to it. You're mostly talking about a guy that's very vocal in the locker room that honestly, that's why you're paying him a lot of that money is to pull that defense with him and he talks a big game. And not only that, is that when he is healthy, he actually plays a big game. He comes in in big moments when we really need him. And I think that's what a leader needs to do. And with this young core of defensive linemen, he's very primed and ready to lead a defense that is ready to get it going. Another guy that I'm excited about is Randy Gregory, the other part of our one-two punch with Demarcus Lawrence on the other side. Randy has had a heck of a time since he's come into the league with the NFL breathing down his neck. This will be the first time that a whole NFL year will go into his portfolio, which I'm looking forward to, how Dan Quinn is able to utilize him. The moments that he's come in with one or two games, he's made a heck of an impact, and with a whole NFL year coming up, I'm really excited to see his durability and whether he can push this game to game and see if he can really be a leader in this locker room. With newcomers like Osi Adigizua, Chauncey Golston, and even Quentin Bohana, I think pairing them up with guys like Neville Gallimore and Bradley Anai is a great young core of players to come in and relieve those starters or even possibly be starters themselves. There's going to be some guys that will sneak onto the roster like a Dorrance Armstrong or the guy that we picked up in Carlos Watkins. One guy that I am excited that we did pick up is Brent Urban. He's a guy that will bring some good factors to the run game when it comes to the defensive line and stopping them. That was a tremendous problem for us last year, and I think he's a piece of a puzzle of rookies as well that will help with that run game defense. Right now I'm going to go back in order to talk about our future in the sense of a Dan Quinn scheme. When you got three to four linemen on the line at one time and linebackers jumping into that left and right defensive end positions, you need a guy that can really solidify that nose tackle position. And they really got that this year in the rookie Quentin Bohana. Coming in this year at 362 pounds, he's really can solidify that defensive role and allow those linebackers to kind of roam around and make plays, something they didn't have last year when they looked lost and out of place. This is actually the first year where I'm excited about the defensive line and a lot of that excitement really rotates around the rookies. So guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this rookie class in the defensive line. Let me know what you guys think about the defensive line at all. Will it get pressure? Will it allow the secondary, which I will cover next week, uh, time to actually make interceptions and give some pressure to those opposing quarterbacks? A big test in the beginning with Tom Brady sitting right there. Let's look and see what this defensive line is really going to look through as the start of training camp has just started. And I'm excited to see what this core has. So make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Make sure you hit that like button. And like always, ring that bell.